In this video, I quickly want to show you how I use custom snippets in NeoVim and how I configure the NVIM CMP plugin. Let me first show you the custom snippets that I use the most and how I use them. Let's say that I'm working on this file and I usually need to use code blocks when I'm writing markdown files. And let's say that I'm taking notes and I need to grab this last command that I typed in my terminal. I'm just going to type something here. Who am I, for example? I'm going to copy the text that I have here and I'm going to go back to the other session. I'm going to type here bash. Notice that I have two options here and you will see there that it says snippets. I can go down to the option below. I think they're the same thing, but I'm going to accept this with control Y. Notice that I get a code block. So I just paste this here and I'm good to go there. That's actually one of my biggest use cases for snippets. What I else do I use them for? Let's say that I'm taking notes and I usually need to include a link here in what I'm writing. So let me switch back to my browser. Here's the lazyvim.org page. I'm just going to copy this and I switch back to NeoVim and I'm going to type a snippet here. Link. Notice the description. It says there, paste clipboard contents as a markdown link. So I'm just going to hit control Y to accept this. It pasted the link or what I had in my clipboard and I'm just going to type the rest down here. So now I have the link here and I can go to the link if I wanted to. If I press GX, it's going to take me there. What other snippets do I use? Let's say that I'm in my blog post and I need to disable Prettier and Markdown Lint. I have a snippet here, Chirpy. Notice the description that I added, disable Markdown Lint and Prettier for Chirpy. Below there, you can see the snippet itself. And I'm just going to hit Control Y to accept this. Notice that it jumped to this section here. So I can type the message that I need to type. This is a, a test message. If I stay here in insert mode and I press tab, it's going to jump to this section. And I can type here, tip. For example, just to give you an idea, this is how my blog post renders these messages. They need to be specified in this format. So I need to disable Prettier and Markdown Lint. I also have other snippets for different languages for code blocks. So let's say that I type Python here. You're going to notice that I have a snippet as well. Just going to type Control Y to accept that. And I can type Python code here. Or if, for example, I'm working with um, YAML, because I work with Kubernetes a lot, I have a snippet for that as well. I accept it, and I just paste the YAML code that I need here. Here, for example, I have some YAML code. I'm just going to copy this, and I just pasted it in my markdown file. Notice here that I'm going to type bash, and I don't see any copilot suggestions. I don't see anything else here. All I want to see is my snippets. I'm going to show you how I set that up, because copilot was getting in the way, and it was showing above my suggestions. If you want to learn more about all my Markdown setup tips and everything, I have this video, my complete NeoVim Markdown setup and workflow in 2024. It's 48 minutes long, but I cover basically everything. I'm going to release an updated video next year because I have a lot of new tips and tricks, but make sure you do check this video out. Now let me show you how I set this up. I'm using the Lazy Vim distribution, which is the one that you can find here in my browser. And I'm using a Lazy Extra for this. Let me open Keycaster because I don't know why it didn't open when I started. So that way you can see what I type on the bottom right corner. Let me open the Lazy Extras menu. I'm just going to type here Lazy Extras. Let me go there. And here I'm just going to search for Snip. And you're going to see this enable plugin coding that Lua Snip. Notice that this basically configures everything that you need. Lua Snip, friendly snippets, and NVIM CNP. I don't manage my extras in this file because I have multiple computers and I want to have the same configuration in all of them. So I'm just going to show you where I enabled it. Let me go to my dot .files real quick and I'm going to open this lazy.lua file and you're going to notice that I enabled it here. This is where I manage all my extras. It's coding that Lua snip. What does this extra do? Just in case that you don't use the lazyvim distribution, you can come to the page here and notice the path here, extras coding Lua snip. So on the website here, we're going to go to extras and we're going to go to coding and then we're going to go here to this Lua snip section. You're going to be able to find here all of the plugins that are added and the respective configuration. For example, Lua Snip is added here. In case you want to see the full spec or the full configuration for Lua Snip, just click here under full spec. You'll be able to find the config here. Here is friendly snippets. Let's see the configuration. If we keep scrolling down here a little bit more, notice here it says add snippet forward action. And again, you can see the code and keep scrolling down and you'll be able to find all the different options that are added. Here it shows you some optional NVIM CMP configuration. So in case that you don't use this distribution, here's where you can grab inspiration and ideas on how to set everything up. 
So after enabling the extra, I needed to configure my snippets. I used snippets before, but I didn't use them with LuaSnip. Let me show you the way that I managed them before. If I go back here, a few folders, you're going to see this snippets directory. You're going to have an example file here. This is the Go. Here's my Go snippets. Here's my Lua snippets. Here's my Markdown snippets. So it was not as easy to manage as with LuaSnip because you need to create a file for each language, basically, and add your snippets in there. I didn't quite like that too much. I think it's way easier if you configure them here in Lua. This file is in my dot files, and I'm going to leave a link in the video description. Description. But in case you're new to the channel, my dot files are here. Just make sure that you start the repo here on the top right corner. And here you'll be able to find everything that you need. So let's start here at the top. Notice that this is what allows me to create my custom snippets. All you need to do is to enable the Lua Snip Extra, just the way that I specified here. And I would recommend you to watch a video. This is the video that I watched to set everything up. Just let me grab this video ID here and you'll be able to see this video. The best Neobin plugin writing Lua Snippets with Lua Snip. This is by Vim Joyer. He explains stuff there in full detail. So if you want to learn more about snippets, I would highly recommend you to go and check that video out. But let me just quickly show you how I configured mine. Here are some variables that I declared at the top. Notice that this function clipboard, I also declared it here. This is what allows me to copy a link from my clipboard and paste it as a markdown link. As you remember, I use a lot of code blocks. I just created a helper function here to create those snippets. So here's the function. Here I define the languages that I want to use for code blocks. If I keep scrolling down here, notice that this calls a create code block snippet function. So just make sure you don't forget that as well. Here's the chirpy one that I mentioned a moment ago that I demoed. Notice that it adds several different things. Then this number one puts me in this position. Position. And when I hit tab, it's going to make me jump to this other position. That's what I showed in the video as well. And it just adds this text that you see here under T it's for text. If we keep scrolling down here, you're going to find here this markdown lint disable, which is very similar to the one that I have above. Let's keep scrolling down. Prettier ignore, basically the same thing. This is just to add a link. Notice that under each one of them, I'm adding a description under the name because you will forget what each snippet does. It's good to know or good to have a visual on what each one of them do. Same thing here. Notice that this one also has the name here, the trigger, which is link. T. It puts me in this position first. And if I hit tab, it's just going to switch me to this other position. Let me show you how this name shows up. If I go back to my other file, I'm just going to type here link T. Notice that it says add this. So I have a better idea on what this snippet does. I'm just going to accept it with control Y. I just get put in this position, test. And if I hit tab, I jump to the other position. This is another one in case you want to add a to do item, for example. I'm just going to type here to do. It adds it. Testing to do item. This is the one that I use quite a bit. So it pastes the clipboard contents in the link section and then it moves my cursor. Notice here that I have this function clipboard and I have this with the number one so that my cursor jumps there. Notice here that these are snippets for my markdown files. Notice here, ls add snippets markdown. And if I scroll Scroll up here to this file, you're going to notice that here's the markdown section and below I have an all section, which is not only for markdown files, but basically for all of them. If you want to know the file type of a specific buffer or file, you just run this. You're going to notice that it says their file type Lua. Let's keep scrolling down here. Here's the all the file types section. I don't have anything that you would find interesting here, but this is where you add them. Now let me show you how NVIM CMP comes into play here. Here's my NVIM CMP configuration. It's a completion engine plugin for NeoVim written in Lua. Completion sources are installed from external repos and sourced. So here is where I configure how I accept an auto completion. I don't want to accept them with enter, but instead I want to accept them with control Y. So here is where I configure that. In the lazy vim distro, they are accepted with enter by default, if I remember correctly. So I just disabled that. Here's where I found this tip, in case you want to go there. What else do we have here? Okay, this configuration was really useful for me. This is where I adjust the source priorities. I always want LuaSnip to show before Copilot. Why? Because Copilot is very noisy, we could say. It's going to show you a lot of suggestions, and most of the times you don't want that. So here I just specify the priority in vim LSP. Notice that it has the highest priority, 1000. And Lua Snip and then go pilot. So what do I mean by this? Let me go to this other file here and I'm just going to add a new link here. I use Marksman so I can reference other nodes. So for example, I'm going to add a link here. It's going to type by nine. Notice that it says reference. This means a reference to a different node. Just going to accept this. Let's say that I want to link to a specific heading. Notice that here are all the different headings in that markdown file by nine. Let's say that I want to reference this one. Just going to hit Control Y here to accept. And now if I press GD here, I go to that and I press Control O to go back. What if I want to reference a different note? Uh, let's say, for example, if I type here Debian. Yeah, Debian is fine. Just going to type this symbol. I have all my different markdown headings. I can scroll through them with arrows. Notice that I'm doing that right now. 
or I can search for something here, for example. If I want to accept this, just going to hit Control Y. And uh, I have that reference here now. I can go to it, GD, or I just hit Control O to go back. This is possible because of what I configured here. I gave this NVIM LSP the highest priority. Otherwise, Copilot would show up there all the time, just showing me nonsense stuff and I wouldn't be able to reference or link my files. This is the way that I manage this. May not be the right way, so if you have other tips or recommendations, do let me know down in the comments. Notice that I also gave Lua Snip a higher priority than Copilot. Why? Same thing. I was trying to add a snippet and Copilot was showing up first and I didn't want that at all. But this fixes it for me. If we keep scrolling down here, yep, nothing else that is relevant or special here. Just make sure that you add this code and that's going to take care of this for you. I just noticed that Ghosty has a new icon that was added today. I'm not sure if Ghosty has been publicly released yet, but in case you want to learn more about Ghosty, how to set it up, and my entire configuration, go and check this video out. And just one last thing before I let you go. Let me show you something real quick in mini.files. Let's say that I want to grab this color schemes directory. I want to zip it and I want to copy it to my clipboard. I'm just going to type here space YZ. You're going to notice that it says there zipped and copied to clipboard. Let's say that now I want to share this in Slack, for example. Let me switch to Slack and I'm just going to paste here with this key on my keyboard. Just basically command V. Notice that the file was shared from mini.files, zipped and copied to my clipboard. If you don't know what mini.files is, it's a file explorer for NeoBIM. It allows you to customize a lot of stuff, gives you a preview, and it's just wonderful. If you want to learn more about it, go and check this video out. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to regret I'm trying to think if I'm missing something that I should have covered in this video, but I think that I did cover everything. I do tend to update my dot .files regularly, so just go and check them out in GitHub. If you have suggestions, if this works for you or if it doesn't, or if you have any other recommendations, please let me know down in the comments. If you want to support me, share this video so that I can reach other people. My viewers can increase, my subscribers can increase, so that I keep posting videos. Okay, so I hope this is useful. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.